Let me show you how to make an ellipse starting with a circle. First make a circle, I used a bowl to help me, then cut it out. Now mark a point in the circle. Fold the paper so that a random point on the edge of the circle touches the marked point. Fold a crease, then draw it with a line. Now do this with many different points on the edge of the circle. What do you get? Amazingly, the lines form the boundary of an ellipse. A computer-generated picture looks like this. So why is an ellipse produced with this folding process? Remember how an ellipse is made? If you have two fixed points, the corresponding ellipse is the set of all blue points where the total length of the red path never changes. In our paper folding scenario, start with a circle with center O and the marked point P. Choose a point Q1 on the circle and make the corresponding fold in the paper. Now choose another point Q2 on the circle and also make a fold. Since Q1 and Q2 are on the circle, the length of the blue segment equals the length of the red segment. Now let R1 and R2 denote the points where the colored lines cross the fold lines. Now draw these two new segments. The congruence of triangles implies that these two segments have the same length and these two segments have the same length. So the length of the new red path equals the length of the new blue path. This means that the set of R points constructed in this way form an ellipse around the fixed points P and O. So try it yourself. Fold your own ellipse.